Hello kids, here's the objective for today's lesson. So we're going to describe and illustrate the absolute value of a number on the number line as the distance of a number from zero. Let's talk about first integers. Integers are composed of the negative integers, that is the negative numbers. So you can see the negative sign before the number and also the whole numbers. Again, remember the whole numbers are composed of zero and the counting numbers or let's say the positive numbers. So that's one, two, three and uh, all positive integers. Okay, so when you say integers, we have the negative numbers, including the zero and all the positive numbers. So again, the set of integers are the set of positive counting numbers and its opposite, including zero. So I have here the number line. From zero going to the left are the negative integers. So it is denoted by the negative sign. So that's the symbol. So, kapag merong negative, that is negative integers. Now, from zero, going to the right, are the positive integers. So, the symbol is plus sign. But when we write uh, positive integers, we don't need to put plus sign or write the plus symbol. Because it is understood positive integers. Okay? Okay, so let's proceed to the absolute value. So what is absolute value? So the absolute value of a number is the distance between the number and zero. So pag sinabing absolute value, it is referring to the distance. When we say distance, ito po yung uh, gaano kalayo yung number from zero. So how far is the number from zero? And it is denoted by... Uh, this symbol, the two bars, so yun po yung uh, symbol ng absolute value kapag may two, uh, two uh, vertical bars. Okay, so let's try to use the number line. So zero, that's the starting point at the middle, and we have the opposite numbers, the negative and the positive numbers. Okay, so the question here is, what is the distance of four from zero. So, four, that's positive. So, titingnan natin kung saan yung position, yung positive four that's going to the right. So, from zero, we are going to count how many units from zero to positive four. So, we, we will count one, two, three, four. So, therefore, the distance is four. Okay? So, what is the distance of negative four from zero? Again, so we're going to count the units from 0 going to negative 4. So how many units from 0? That is positive 4. You have noticed that they have the same result. That's all positive 4. So let's try to use the two vertical bars. That's the symbol of absolute value. So the absolute value 4 is equal to 4. And the absolute value of negative 4 is also equal to positive 4. Bakit? Dahil, since we talk about distance, it is how far is the number from 0. So, kapag distance yung hinahanap natin, palagi yung positive number or pa palaging positive ang result. Okay, so let's try another example. So, we have this absolute value of negative 3. Again, when we talk about absolute value, that is the distance from zero. So let's try to use the number line again. So uh, we are looking for the absolute value of negative three. So let's try to count how many units from zero to negative three. One, two, three. So there are three units. That's the distance. See? So when we talk about distance, it is always positive. Okay? So uh, we cannot write negative 3 units away from 0. It is never negative. So the answer should be positive 3. Okay? 
So since we are talking about the distance, now how about absolute value positive 3? Again, so we have to count. So the distance of 3 from 0. So let's try to count. 1, 2, 3. So there are 3 units still. So therefore the absolute value of 3 is positive 3. How about the absolute value of negative 5? The answer is, let's try to count from 0 to negative 5. That is 5. How about positive 12? The answer is 12. Then how about negative 1, 2, 9? That is 1 and 2, 9. See, they're all positive. Okay, so let's do more examples. How about this? So the answer is positive 4. Okay, this one. The answer is also positive 4. How about this? The answer is negative 4. Bakit kaya? Okay, so sinabi ko kanina, so the answer will always be positive because we are talking about the distance. Now, when we are asked to get the absolute value of negative 4, the answer is positive 4. That's correct. But, since merong negative sign sa labas ng absolute value, so sa nakikita nyo merong negative sa labas, kaya the result will become negative. Why? Because you, just, you are just copying the negative sign. Okay? So, that's why the answer is negative 4. Kapag walang negative sign sa labas, the result will always be positive. But dahil may negative sign sa labas na nakaabang, so just simply copy the negative sign. That's why the result is negative 4. How about this one? The answer is negative 4 still. Okay, dahil sa negative sign na nasa labas. Okay, so let's do other examples. So, how about this one? So, you can see that there is operation. So, before we get the absolute value of the number, we have to solve the operation. So, let's get the sum first. 4 plus 2, the answer is 6. So, that's the time we get the absolute value of 6. The answer is 6. How about the absolute value of 10 minus 2? So, the answer is 8. And get the absolute value of 8. The answer is 8. Okay, how about this one? Absolute value of negative 9 minus absolute value of 2. So, kukunin muna natin yung absolute value ni negative 9. That is 9. And absolute value of 2. That is 2. Then, subtract. The answer is 7.